Hey guys, I've just got back from shooting this, the Beretta 693. We've done the 693, but we've never done a 693. So, let's go. So it'd be wrong with me to not mention about five times during this review that this is the best piece of wood I've ever seen on a grade three Beretta. It is simply beautiful in every single way. And well, when this one goes off of the demo circuit, I want it. I would absolutely love that. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. It'll make someone very happy one day. Anyway, at the back, you have the Beretta interchangeable pad system. And being the Vittoria spec, this particular one, you have the slight Monte Carloing of the stock there. It is also slightly shorter than standard at 14 inches as opposed to 14 and a half. Drop a comb is perhaps a little higher than most people will need, but it'd be perfect for a lot of ladies out there. What would be nice to see, however, would be a little bit more cast. So if you are buying this and you are a lady, you might want just a little quarter to a half an inch of cast put on there probably before you start. The checkering is laser checkered, but surrounds this, the shrunken grip. Beautiful for smaller hands, but actually I found with bigger hands, where it's upright, you can you can drop your hand back down and it wasn't too bad. What I did find slightly annoying where with bigger hands was the fact that this cutout wasn't a little bit bigger, but I actually got on shot it really nicely anyway. And I must admit, as well as looking really well, I genuinely, this is up there in the Brettas I've shot in terms of being one of the most enjoyable. It was nice, it was small, it was fun. The Monte Carlo stock made it quite easy to mount even though it was short. And it broke glaze. It did break glaze. Uh, we're on a grouse flush, uh, as you'll see later, and well, let's move on. Being the game model, you have the auto safety with the selector, a silver trigger. And the engraving is a little bit different from the 693. The 693 has a couple of differences, mostly on the base plate here, where it says 693 and in the style of the engraving is ever so slightly different. So you have light scroll in the background, some heavy acanthus around the Beretta Trident, made in Italy, a pheasant on one side with a little bit more scroll work, and on the other, a little grey partridge. All in all, a good looking gun. You really can't complain about what this gun looks like, it's lovely. The forend I particularly like, the forend is a really shallow forend, very small, very thin, it, suit, well, it suits the size of the gun. This is obviously the Vittoria designed as a ladies and juniors gun. However, I know there's a lot of guys out there that will actually appreciate the smaller grip and the smaller forend, as well as the Monte Carlo stock. The rib is a parallel four mil, vented on the top, solid in the mid, and comes with a full set of multi-chokes. Obviously a 690 action is very good, and we've done various videos out there that we could describe that a little better. Mechanically, it is pretty much identical on the inside to the 693, the 693. You have the matte black on the alloy forend with a little silver contrast there. It's all right. It would be nice to see it with a slightly higher gloss to match the rest of the gun, but it's not horrible by any standards. Without further ado, see how we got on with it at the shooting ground. So here we have the Beretta 693. This is the Victoria spec, as we've already looked at, with the most pretty wood in the entire world. Sorry? I don't like them glasses. Oh, sorry. I've forgotten them here. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a large rabbit, Clay. <laughs> Jeez. Really? <laughs> All right. So does he come back now? Or? Uh, I don't know. I, I believe I hit pull. eight. <laughs> I believe eight is him. Let's have another I, shot. I, I pulled eight. Yeah, it's not used. <laughs> it was single use only. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, let's go with a number five sash, which is coming off the scissor lift, okay? Oh! No. Oh. Scissor lift? Please. Oh! Woo. All right, next. Number six. Pull. Pull. I like this gun. 
I like any Monte Carlo gun, and I like 12 bores. Um, spent the morning shooting 20s. It's always good to get back into a proper size gun. Um, and all the 20 boys here will go, no, they're just as good, but they're not as familiar. So, what do we want? Oh, there's a lot of rabbits here now. Yes. Should we shoot some rabbits? Sure. Two and four, because they report? both are from the same side, and Sash might actually capture an old camera. On report, or? Not gonna happen. Uh, we'll have one. Have one, whatever. Oh! No bird? No rabbit? No rabbit. Ready? Pull! Pull! I love 12 balls, and I really like this gun. So 690s always have a little bit less kick uh, by nature of the barrel tech, and the fact that they are just slightly heavier than 680s. More importantly, this has a real inline recoil because of the way it is. If they put an adult size grip on it, I'd be all over it. Um, let's go with, have we had a number six? You've had a six, we could do a six have again. Have we had a five? You had a five. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Oh, that was tasty. If I may have, as my last clay with this gun, because I would just shoot it all day otherwise, actually it's really nice. Really very nice. A simultaneous, no, that's a lie, because I won't get it. I have a six followed by a five. That's a challenge. Pull. Ah. Oh. I hope you got one, because I didn't. All right, <laughs> that's my very short relationship done with the 693. For those of you who want to know more, go check out our 690 693 video, because they're the same damn gun. But this one is absolutely gorgeous. And in the Vittoria spec, it's really, really nice. Uh, just a shame they put the smaller grip on it because that will really suit people who it is designed for uh, and not me. So to conclude, I really liked it. You know, as much as it's branded as a ladies gun in the Vittoria, I would love it with a couple of spaces and a big pad on the back. And I know there's a lot of guys out there that this would really suit. To be honest, I would probably take that grip and just modify it, just open it slightly and turn it into a little bit of a Prince of Wales but I think this would be an absolutely brilliant base for a custom-ish game gun by Barrett. I think that would be, make for a very special thing. However, there's a lot of people out there that this will suit absolutely perfectly, um, and a lot of people who will work their way around it because it is just that nice. I hesitate to say that I have shot the 693, the standard sports model. I genuinely, for some reason, just preferred the way this shot, and I can't explain that much more than that, so there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. And if you are after a Debrett 693 and a Vittoria model, or just a ladies gun in general, I really think this is a really good competitor. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. I'll see you next time.